In the 2012 general elections, the United Democratic Party won in what was dubbed a close margin, as the UDP had gotten 17 seats, while the People's United Party got 14 of the 31 in the House of Representatives. But in the middle of that term, the POP lost one of those seats when Joseph Mahmoud for Kaya North resigned in November 2014, and when that by-election was called, UDP's Amar Figueroa gained that seat in January 2015. Tonight, the POP is having somewhat of a deja vu, as the Elections and Boundaries Department is getting ready to conduct yet another by-election, this time for the Dangringa constituency. With Ivan Ramos's resignation from the House of Representatives, the PUP has issued a release that has cast aspersions on his character, saying that he may have been paid by the UDP to resign. Ramos has categorically denied this allegation. As a matter of fact, so has his brother Anthony Ramos, who was named as one of the negotiators with the UDP. I will just say that, you know, I have learned that when you want to justify you're wrong, you allude to things like this. Um, I don't know of myself as a greedy person. As I said before, personally, nobody can say to you that I have asked them for anything for me or cut a deal with anybody. Let me say to you then that those who are saying that, let them bring the bloody evidence. Let them bring the evidence, okay? As simple as that. The leader of the opposition will have to, to justify that. Okay? I'm saying to you, you ask the question, that that is absolutely not true. And just to add to that, there has been absolutely no communication between you and anybody from the UDP party? No. no. Okay? Well, I heard, um, I'm hearing what you're saying, um, that um, Anthony and my brother Chico and so have been negotiating for me and you know that kind of thing. I mean that's nonsense. I would say categorically, no. So you have not spoken to anybody out of the UDP on behalf of Ivan Ramos negotiating for a settlement for him to step down? I need not to. Ivan is his, is his own man and I can assure you he will make his own decisions. I don't need to do that for him. For now, that is where that allegation stands, as nothing but an allegation. In the end, the Dan Griga seat is vacant for either UDP's Frank Papamena or POP's Anthony Sabal to gain, or perhaps even a candidate from a third party. One of the lingering questions, however, is why didn't the POP move to protect its Dan Griga seat, since they did get intelligence on Ramos' intention to resign? Well, according to Fonseca... They did try to appease the situation, but those efforts failed. We did everything possible uh, to try to ensure that the Honorable Ivan Ramos um, was satisfied and that he could, in fact, um, continue uh, to represent the people of Dangriga for the remainder of his term. Um, which is why um, I think there's speculation and the questions uh, or even stronger and, and more resounding um, because every effort was made. So where does that leave the PUP now and their strength among the electorate? Fonseca says they are down, but certainly not out. I understand and our party understands and appreciates the UDP strategy of bleeding the People's United Party to death, but they have overreached and the growing stench of abuse and corruption coming out of Belmopan will yet overtake their party and bring them to their knees. The PUP is down, but we are far from out. Love News understands that the by-election has been set for July 8, 2015 in Dangriga. Reporting for Love News, I am Renee Trujillo.